Hi there, it's Bonnie with So Inspired by Bonnie with another Tuesday's Tip. Welcome! I am so glad everybody's here and coming on in. If you're here, would you mind liking and sharing the uh, video and posting so that we do know that you're here? I'm going to go over to my computer and refresh the page and make sure that everything is working. <laughs> And I'm right side up and not standing on my head or not sideways uh, this week. <laughs> so while this refreshes, I'll take a real quick look and make sure we're good to go. My computer is being a little slow today. There we are. Okay. Hi, Anna. Hi, Carol. Great to see you guys. We're, I know we're gonna have some more coming in, but what we're gonna discuss today, um, let me go back a little bit. I was all ready to do another type of Tuesday's tip, but I ran into this really neat gadget and I just thought, I've gotta share this with everybody because I know that I'm gonna go back to this gadget time and time again to make my life a lot easier. So I figured if it's gonna make my life easier, it'll make your life easier. And what we're gonna talk about are taking pictures or videos from your phone, either an Android or an iPhone, straight to your computer or your iPad. Now, if you're like me, <laughs> and I know a lot of you are, we don't like to learn a bunch of new stuff and we don't like to learn a bunch of new fancy schmancy computer stuff. But I know a lot of us, a lot of you, just like me, know how to use the USB stick to get our embroidery designs from the computer over to our embroidery machine and embroider all day long. That's a piece of cake. Well, what I discovered was, and it's been out for a little bit, but I just discovered it, and so I figured a lot of you don't know about it yet either, is an, um, a phone flash drive. And they make them, here, here's mine, the one that I got, it's by PNY, it's a 64 gigabyte. They make them, uh, you know, like um, 128 gigabytes even, and they make them at 32 gigabytes. 32 gigabytes is plenty big, but this 64 is just more. So, um, more storage, because <laughs> we all want more storage. But anyway, what this does is it works much like your flash drive or your USB sticks for your computers. So, let me pull this out. And this is what mine looks like. Now, I'm going to drop a couple of links because SanDisk puts one out. Uh, this one is, again, by PNY. They have them out there. And um, they run anywhere from, like, 29 bucks on up to over $100, just depending upon how much memory you want, or storage, I should say, in your little flash drive. Now this flash drive looks a little bit different than what we're used to because it has two ends on it. This one has a little a little clamp and this just pops off and it has two ends. One will go into your phone and one will go into your computer or your iPad or even I suppose it could go into your embroidery machine but you wouldn't have any designs stored on your phone so that wouldn't make any sense. But um, you're gonna take and put this in your phone, and I'm borrowing my husband's phone. He was kind enough to loan this to me since I'm using my phone uh, to, to video record. And you're gonna put this in your uh, phone, and then I'm gonna enter his little code here. And it's gonna ask, do you want to allow the Duo Link to link up? And you just say allow. And on the first time, it's gonna go and ask you, do you wanna have this little app installed? And you just say allow, and then it automatically went to the store to go get the perfect app that they want you to get for it. And you just say get, and then it installs. I mean, there's no hunting for anything. It just automatically popped up, which I thought was really super cool. And then up comes this screen to let you know how much storage you've used on your USB stick, the flash drive, and how much, storage you've used on your phone. So I thought that was really cool. I've uh, used all but 15% on my phone. I had no idea I had almost used up all my storage on my phone. Um, 
kids. But anyway, and then you have different options. You can back up the entire phone, with, uh, which is gonna back up your videos, your uh, pictures, and your music. And then you can also ask it to back up your contacts if you wanted to back up your contacts. So it's really easy and it's gonna store everything onto this little flash drive. Once you're done, now you don't have to back up the entire phone. You can back up one file, one video, one music, uh, if you wanted. It's just whatever options you want to do, that's what you can choose, which is really cool. You can even plug this in and have it saved directly to this and bypass your phone. You don't even have to use the storage on your phone. I thought that was kind of slick. So they give you all sorts of little options to use this thing. And then when you have this little app up, and I'm sure most of them work very similar, I just swiped to the left and it gives me some different options. But if I swipe all the way toward the end here, there's a place called tips. And that's basically instructions on how to use the little flash drive. And so if I pushed on the little tips, it's gonna say, do you want me to allow this? And I'm in airplane mode, so let me get out of airplane mode on his phone so I can allow and get into there. Let me find where I installed it. There we go, go on the, oops, go on the little tips and it pops up with your tips. Just that neat, just that easy, I mean. So then you can come down here and it, it gives you a list of which, which option do you wanna do. Do you want to do a direct capture, which means a direct picture capture into here from your phone? Do you wanna transfer some files? Do you wanna transfer from the phone to um, the, the link here? or do you wanna back up your entire phone? So you have all those options. Once you've got the information you want onto your little USB stick, you can just unplug your USB stick, walk on over to your iPad or your computer, plug that into your computer, and just like any other flash stick, a new drive's gonna pop up on your computer with the information that you've stored on this. And then you can just copy it and paste it onto your computer and you can categorize however you like. So say you went to a retreat and there was a bunch of pillows that you were taking pictures of for inspiration. You can put those into a pillow category so that when you're trying to think of ideas and go, gosh, I saw something that really inspired me, but now I can't remember what it was, but I know it was a pillow. You can go to your pillow folder of inspiration and find all those pictures. Um, if you're like me, I like to use my phone for inspiration like that. If I see something I like, I'll take a really quick snapshot. I just never had an easy way to get those pictures to my computer that I made, you know, that I wanted the inspiration from. Another way to use your phone is, say you're at a retreat and someone's demoing something, you can, you can just ask them, may I video record that real quick just so that I remember the steps you took? So you can, you can record a video on your phone. You can save that to your computers as well using this flash drive that's made for your phones. Again, they come available for iPhones as well as Android. So I just thought that was super duper cool and worth a Tuesday's tip over because I know I'm gonna use this a lot. Um, Okay, I wanted, it goes to, you don't, oh, another thing I didn't, I'm looking at my notes here because I didn't want to forget anything. You don't have to have an internet connection at all to use this. So if you're out and about and you want to just pull something off of your phone and then throw it onto your iPad or your laptop, you can do that. You don't have to have an internet connection, which I thought was really nice. Another thing, you can use this as a charger. <laughs> So if you're, you know, running low on 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 uh, juice, you can take this, plug it into here, plug it into your computer, and it's going to pull some juice from your computer. Or if you have uh, the little adapter that plugs into the wall unit, you could just put it into that and plug it into the wall unit. So no more of those long cords, although those long cords come in handy for certain things. But if you just want a little quick 
boost or something, you can do all of that with this flash drive, which I thought was nothing short of amazing. So if I were, I mean, it's small enough to just carry in your purse. Now, I would put it in something to protect it because you don't want uh, your keys or something banging against the ends of um, the ports here. So I have this handy little snap bag that a friend of mine made me a few years ago and I use this thing all the time in my purse. I put um, my, I wrap up my iPad cord and throw it in there or my earplugs and throw them in there. Or I could put this, now that I have this handy little guy and put him in there and it's ready to just toss in my purse. So it's really portable and a lifesaver. I'm just really excited to share this little tip with you because I know it's not specifically sewing related and yet it's going to make our sewing inspiration photos and videos and all of that so much easier. So I hope you enjoy it. Since I turned my husband's phone off of airplane mode, we're getting notification sounds now from his phone. Sorry for that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go back over to the computer and see what kind of questions I can still see. They kind of roll so I don't get to see all the questions immediately. Um, sometimes I have to read them after we go off live, but I will answer any of your questions. So please feel free to ask the questions and I'll get an answer to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, Lisa saw, hi Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Sh saw Shaw, sorry, I'm tongue-tied. She can't say my business name and I can't say her last name. So I guess <laughs> we're, we're both two peas in a pod. Um, but it is a neat gadget. I was just floored when I found it because I, I just, again, it's something we already know how to do because we know how to use our flash drives to get information from the computer to the machine or from the machine to the computer in some instances so I just I was like oh I can handle this but you know the iTunes and all that kind of stuff my girls they're whizzes at that stuff but I'm just mental block I <laughs> that's not my cup of tea so um, anyway I found this and I'm like I'm good to go uh, so any other comments Oh, Cindy. Cindy is asking, what is it called and where do we get it? Now, I've discovered a couple of different kinds. SanDisk puts it out and it's available at Best Buy right now, SanDisk, and it's August 2018. But right now, Best Buy has those at 50% off, so their $80 drives are now $40. Their $70 drives are now like $30. Um, so Best Buy has the SanDisk version of that. That's S-A-N-D-I-S-K, I believe. And then this one, I'll hold the box up again, is a PNY 64 gig. They do make them all the way up to 128 gig, but really 32 or 64 is really plenty big, I think, especially if you're just using it to transfer information back and forth. I mean, I was transferring videos with this and I did not have any issues and I transferred the whole phone because uh, I hadn't done it in a while. <laughs> Anyway, it, it worked really slick. Um, right now, these are not on sale at Best Buy. I got it at about half off at Best Buy in the $40 range. Um, however, I went to Amazon today and I found this at Amazon in the $40 range. I think it was like $39 or so. And I'm sure that Best Buy will match the price. So, you know, you can do that too if you want to go in and pick it up. But I'm sure um, any place like that, Fry's or Best Buy or any of those that carry um, this kind of, you know, computer gadgetry would have that kind of thing. You know, even I'm sure any place that carries the phones, they should have this sort of thing. It's, it's basically a phone flash drive is what you're looking for. Make sure when you ask about it that it's a phone flash drive that will transfer information from your phone to your computer or from your computer back to your phone. So anyway, it's it's an easy peasy, you know, tip. Uh, it's an easy peasy gadget and I know you're gonna love it like I do and I'm gonna use it a lot. <laughs> so um, I think that's in. 
Oh, Tanya, see, there's one of my daughters popping in. She's going, iTunes is not that hard, Mom. I just, I just haven't bonded with it. It just, I don't know. I know how to do this all day long, but iTunes, I don't want to learn new stuff. It just, ah. But having said that, you can also save to the cloud or the, you can save to the cloud and you can share with friends in the cloud using this thing too. So that might be something worth me learning. <laughs> but anyway, get me started. I got to start slow. I'm not one of those that jumps in with both feet all the time. Now, you know, show me a new sewing technique. I'm all over it, you know, but I'm, you know, to me, computers are kind of like cars. I want one that's fast that I can, you know, drive, but I sure don't want to learn how to build one from the ground up but I do want it to do what I want it to do so there you go that's my philosophy <laughs> uh, Beth I'm using an iPhone but the phone flash drives are available for both iPhone or Android so just make sure that you get the one that's specific for your type of phone but they're out there for both of them um, but I do use a, an iPhone and my husband, who used to be a Android lover, has switched over to iPhone, and now he is solely using iPhones, too, so we converted him. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think that's all the questions that I see right now here off the bat. Oh, Tanya says that you can't save to the iCloud. See, I'm not real versed in the iCloud stuff. It is just a backup place, but if you delete from your iPhone, it deletes it from the iCloud. Uh, <laughs> See, that whole iCloud stuff, I, mm, over my head, below my feet, what can I say? <laughs> but anyway, this I can understand. This makes sense to me. It's it's tangible. I can hold it. I, I, I understand how this works. But maybe one of these days my daughter or one of them will show me more on the iCloud and I won't be so hung up about iCloud and iTunes. But anyway, so... Um, <laughs> I think... Cindy says, I'm with you. I can't even use a flash drive to transfer embroidery designs. It never works. Um, well, Cindy, depending upon what machine you have, they all are a little bit different. But I would recommend, just without knowing what your issue is, number one, I'd recommend going in and asking your dealer to show you how. And number two, if you don't have a dealer, I would recommend going to YouTube and, and putting in a search for your machine and how to transfer designs. And number three, I would recommend try making sure that there's nothing else on the flash drive except the design. No folders, no other formats, no PDF files, just the design and transfer that over. That's kind of getting way down to the basics, but just depending upon your machine, some of them are a little bit pickier than others. Um, that would be my suggestion on, on what to try there. But once you have it down, it's a piece of cake. It really is very easy. <laughs> Beth says, gotta love our kids and their techie skills. Yes, we do. Um, but they grew they grew up in a different world than we did you know all of this i a little history all of this and <laughs> all of this is new to us i remember when i got my first embroidery machine and they were talking about getting designs off the internet and getting it onto your embroidery machine you know downloading a free design and da 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 da, da and i'm like holy moly what is download <laughs> Had papers spread all over the office floor and I was trying to figure because nobody had we did not have training out there we did not have YouTube's we we were on the cutting edge of all of this way back then and sometimes you bleed a little bit when you're on the cutting edge of stuff but 
I survived and if I can learn it knowing what I started with and I taught software and I digitize and all of that and one skill builds on the next and if I can do it you can too so um, yes this will work with the and I I'm sure it would work with if you have an Android I'm sure it would work with an Android tablet just like this is for iPhone it's working with an iPhone tablet or an iPad um, so again I'm not that familiar with Android I just know that the flash drive is available for Androids and I've heard it works much the same way so when you go in ask and make sure that it's gonna do what you want it to do for the Android but I'm they're competing with each other so they know what the other guys doing and they're gonna want to do it too they're not gonna be one of be left behind. <laughs> Tanya says, I still remember 20 minutes for a dial-up connection. Then it would connect and drop and you'd have to start all over. Boy, those, yeah, were painful, weren't they? Oh, golly. Well, um, I think, I think that's it for today's tip. And I hope you go out and enjoy it and get one and have fun. Let me know how you're doing with it and if you like it. Uh, as a reminder, which I forgot to do last Tuesday, if you send me a Tuesday's, if you send me one of your favorite tips and I use it on one of our segments for Tuesday's tips, I will send you five free six by 10 um, sheets of the super sparkly glitter flex now these have the clear carrier on them and then with the glare of the phone or the the camera there you can't really see it but it is super sparkly very very thin and flexible um you're gonna love it i have tuesday's tip videos on how to use it on my website and youtube channels but send me your tips if i use one of them i will send you five sheets so Oh, one other, I, I did tell you about that, so I didn't forget. Okay, I'm having a blonde moment. What can I say? Um, so be sure to send me your tips. As always, I thank you so, so much for spending a few minutes out of your busy day with me and having a little bit of fun. I will double check the questions later. I will post a couple of links to where you can find these uh, techie gizmos called phone flash drives and um, where you can pick one up for yourself or oh, Christmas is around the corner these would make great Christmas gifts for you know some of your family maybe just a thought anyway I hope you had a great time um, it's great to be back and we will see you next Tuesday have fun bye bye for now